Welcome back to Singer Dad Reacts. My name is Josh. A special welcome to all of you pentaholics who have been waiting patiently for me to react to another pentatonics video. Uh, I do want to do some more pentatonics reactions. I have seen a majority. Um, I don't know about a majority, but I've seen quite a few of their of their videos, especially the ones that are kind of the most requested. Uh, if you have one that is one of your favorites and or a list the best thing to do is to put a list list off your top 10 or whatever and then uh, what that'll do is if the chances of there being something on your top 10 that I haven't seen are, are greater than if you just list off you know your top or whatever because chances are I've probably seen it right Bohemian Rhapsody Hallelujah um, Love Again Imagine um, um, Royals, Shallow, um, Gold, uh, Cheerleader. Uh, like I said, all of the ones in the top 10 I've seen except for this one today, um, Can't Hold Us by Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. So this is the only one from the top 10 um, on the P uh, PTX official that I haven't actually seen. So I wanted to definitely... Uh, take a look at this one and give my reaction and I'll look at others I have some feedback from some of my other videos and what I'm doing that I mentioned in some of my other reactions is I'm taking the suggestions that all of you are giving and then putting them into a word document where I can go through and kind of you know piece together okay here here are your recommendations for you know different songs that you want me to react to and then I can kind of trim those down to a list of those that I haven't seen and uh, work through those, right? Um, I was doing some of the newer ones like the blinding lights and things like that, but I wanna kinda go back also and do some of the older ones that I haven't seen yet because there are several that I haven't seen that uh, are fairly popular and I know people uh, really enjoy. This is one of those, so I'm going to jump in on this. Uh, for those of you uh, that are new or that haven't, if you could please subscribe and click the notifications so that you can be notified of any of my new pentatonics reactions or any of the others you might be interested in. I would appreciate that. Thank you. It's so hard when people knock you down and tell you that you're never going to get a shot at glory. But that's when you rise to the challenge Cause it's your time, your moment And nothing can stop us now Yeah, PTX Get up what it is, what it does, what it is, what it is <laughs> Looking for a better way to get a better, better Better getting on the internet and checking out the hippie Get up, your shot, your shot Walk a little bit of humble, a little bit of caution Somewhere between like Rocky and Kelsey Swear the game, no, no, yeah, can't copy Yeah, yeah This here's our party My posse's been on Broadway And we're doing <laughs> <laughs> wow what's cool about this is like they're also multi-talented and this this kind of has more of a rap element right so there's a lot more of this kind of rapping going on and which is cool you know i, I mentioned before i'm not a huge rap fan but um yeah they they're gonna bring the harmonics and all the stuff that they normally bring i'm sure as part of this performance that's just the the way that they are, and of course Kevin's, you know, killing it with the beatboxing. So, you know, I'm enjoying it. But yeah, I am impressed by that though. That this is another facet of their their talents and abilities. And it doesn't surprise me really that they're good at rapping because they all are excellent musicians. They have really good musicality. Having been classically trained, I know I understand, you know, what it takes to really. Um, seamlessly interweave the parts and sing together and and do complicated you know um, runs and and harmonizations and things like that you have to really have good musicianship good rhythm um, and understand how to read the music how to read your parts and and sing uh, in rhythm and with the other voices around you 
So these are the things that kind of some people may take for granted with in listening to pentatonics that they have, uh, you know, great abilities in. But this is direct evidence of, of that, their ability to rap and, you know, follow the rhythm and everything else. Let me rewind it here. I don't want to miss anything. Kind of stopped at a weird spot here. One of the things I wanted to point out, so like, and this is, they do this in a, multiple songs, but it, and it, they actually happen in the sing-off as well. You saw the judges and they would talk about, you know, Kevin and Avi. Uh, and Kevin and, and Matt are the same way, but Kevin and Avi got it started with the group. And that is, Kevin's awesome as a beatboxer, but what Avi does, and you heard it right there, I'll rewind it here and you'll, you'll kind of be able to pick, pick up on what I'm talking about. But because the percussion and the bass go hand in hand, those two have to be you know locked in with each other. Um, if the percussion is on and doing a certain beat, and then the bass is going, but it's slightly off beat, then it's going to cause just this uneasy feeling or this kind of, you know, non-cohesive feeling. I don't know what other words to use, but you'll be able to tell right away that something's going on and that, that something's not right with the underlying rhythm and the flow and, and the the feel of the song, right? So those two, and you hear Avi kind of doing the boom, 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 you know, so he's doing different things like that in rhythm with Kevin, and that's that's where they really provide that foundation for the for the the music itself and for the for the notes and all everything going on up and above so let's go back and you can kind of listen to what i'm talking about starts out right see he's going to do it He's doing his in rhythm. Those harmonies. Well, that was cool. That was cool. So they do a lot of this stuff, right? Where it's like they throw in like this, and then they, uh, crazy. And they transition between different sections of the song seamlessly without, and this is the hard stuff, right? When you're kind of doing a specific rhythm of the song and then all of a sudden you change it up and then you start into something else. I mean, in my quartet um, that I mentioned before, I think we've been singing together for around 10 years. I sing lead there and it's like, we, we do some stuff, but not a whole lot of stuff like this. Um, uh, but just kind of those transitions that we may have as part of our, the songs that we sing, it's, it's difficult to really make sure that all of us are together as we transition, whether that's a key change or whatever that may be. Uh, and we're a cappella too, so it's like, I understand the, some of the things that these guys wrestle with as far as transitioning into a key change or kind of a, a rhythm change. We've done medleys too, like where uh, we did this thing called Nutcracker Jingle. So it's like, basically um, all the songs from the Nutcracker, but sang to Jingle Bells, to the tune of Jingle Bells, right? So jingle, 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 jingle. And so we had to transition between songs uh, and melodies and, and rhythms. And so I know what it takes to do that. And these guys are, are masters at it. Let, let me rewind a little bit here. I'm so 
dang graceful. I grew up wow. to wanna go front, but that's what you get when Texas raised you. Y'all can't stop me. Go hard like I got an eight away to my that's heart. Press low. And I'm eating at the beach like I gave a little speed to a great white shark. <laughs> So Avi, man, he, I love his low stuff. He, he really, the thing you have to understand here is that, and I've mentioned this before, so I sang low bass uh, my first semester in the acapella choir I was in, and uh, in college, and the, I may have mentioned this, I think, in another reaction, but singing low bass and bringing the power behind it, like, Hopefully everyone that has watched and listens to Avi, you know, and Matt's the same way, right? Because he has a lot of power in his lower register as well. But to, to sing low, to be a true bass and have those low notes and to sing it with power and control, that's a little more rare to have that combination. Because um, you can hit the notes, but then sing it in rhythm, sing it while you're doing stuff. Bring the power behind it, you know, add some flair, whatever those things work with harmonies and blend while you're doing that. Those things are all harder and it's unusual to see a bass that has all those things and can do all those things well. And he's just got a powerful instrument. He's amazing. See that transition again here. Oh, that's cool. Wow. <laughs> oh sorry bad spot uh yeah they i don't know how they do it i don't know how they do it they because they're doing these na 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 those are hard when you're all singing harmonies and then you've got each of them comes in on a, on a solo part. So you have to kind of get your harmony parts down and then know when you're supposed to come in through your little solo phrase. There's a lot that goes on. And that's why a lot of people talk about having to watch Pentatonix videos like multiple times. And I've watched a lot of their videos many, many times. And I still pick up on stuff that they've done where I just didn't even notice. And I'm sure this one is the same way. I could go back and watch this four times and still catch new things that they've done. I apologize, I stopped in a weird spot here. Let me go back. I want to hear, because, yeah, Mitch. Mitch is like the ceiling can't hold it. <laughs> See, Avi's singing in his upper range now. So now he's down again. Ooh, that was low. 
what was that? I don't have my keyboard app out, but that was a low one. Let's go back. I want to hear that again. Avi just, he throws these notes in every once in a while in songs. And I notice it because I, I'm attuned to that because a lot of times I'll sing either bass or baritone, sometimes tenor, but mostly bass or baritone. And so I key in on those parts, but and I love hearing good basses, but... <laughs> Everyone, thank you so much for watching our first track from PTX Volume 2. We're working on the rest of them really hard right That's now. Awesome. We'll have it out soon. Absolutely. And if you're trying to see behind the scenes stuff for this video, there's a box floating around somewhere. Yeah, click somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. So you can see all that craziness. Also, very exciting news. We're going on tour in Europe. Woo -hoo -hoo! Yeah! Woo -hoo! Our first ever European tour. We're going to places awesome. like Italy, Germany, the UK, other cool places like that. So just check down below in the description box. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what it's called. Description box. box. <laughs> oh, man. For dates. <laughs> and then check ptxofficial.com for more information. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support. We love you guys, and we'll see you soon. And don't forget to subscribe. Absolutely. Ow, ow. Bye. Wow. That was... I'm never disappointed with pentatonics. I'm never disappointed. I'm always, there's always something new they bring to the table. And this is a new one for me as far as just kind of that whole, the rap feel and and the, the, the style of the song was a little different from some of the others that I've seen. Um, but they owned it, you know? They, the harmonies were incredible. Avi and Kevin owned it on the, the bass and rhythm and the percussion they all they each brought it and that's what makes them unique from the other groups and it's why so many of us love them because they've put the bar way up high um, it's hard to really compare to them in, in what they can do it's amazing um, yeah another another awesome cover they did and they made it their own they always have their own kind of pentatonic spin to it that they put into it. Um, but yeah, now I can go back and listen to this one several times and and I'm sure I'll pick out different things that I that I missed. And I apologize if I stopped it too much, but I love to to kind of really dive into you know what they're doing and and um, listen for the harmonies and the the, the there's little intricacies and little subtle things, and I, I probably can pick out maybe several more of those things if I had the chance to kind of go through it and scrub it even more. But I, I don't want to go through too much of that and make it longer for you. And and uh, but that's that's kind of what I do, right? I'm a classical singer, and um, and so I'm listening. My ears are tuned to that type of stuff, and I love to really kind of look at it and kind of better understand what's going on and, and hopefully disseminate that to, to some of you and and hopefully that's interesting to you and that's what you're looking for um, and it's a it's a pleasant experience for you but I really enjoy it and uh, I'm glad to be reacting and uh, sharing this with all of you pentaholics I love pentatonics if you can't already tell that's how I really got started and I haven't really talked about that as far as kind of why I got into reacting but I started entering the world of, of reacting by being on the other end of it, watching reactions. And I love to watch people especially discover pentatonics. That was one of my favorite things, and my boys gave me a hard time about it, right? They're always making jokes, oh, so-and-so reacts to pentatonics singing, you know, this or whatever. So they kind of ribbed me about it and gave me a hard time uh, because I love to watch people discover, you know, pentatonics and, and kind of experience them for the first time. And so that's, and I, and I got to a point where I'm like, you know, I could do this. Uh, I could do this and kind of make it my own and kind of have a different approach to it, right? That's different from what other reactors do. So hopefully what I do is of interest to you. And if so, if you could please 
uh, subscribe, click on the notifications, and keep your eye out for more pentatonics reactions. I'm definitely going to be doing more here. Uh, thank you very much, and take care.